Good afternoon, everybody. So if you're a new amputee and you're getting fitted for your first prosthesis or you're, you're just starting your physiotherapy, you may hear, hear of this term called the K-level. And what is that and how does it apply to an amputee and a prosthesis? So a K-level is a way of, of rating an amputee's um, activity level or their ability to function with their prosthesis. Basically, the range goes from zero to four. Zero would be the lowest range where either the amputee cannot wear a prosthesis or when they wear a prosthesis, uh, they don't gain any function um, compared to when they're without their prosthesis. A K1 would be when you're starting to walk in your prosthesis. Now, I have uh, three different prosthetic feet here that I'm gonna show you. Each one of them has got a different K level. This is my stomper foot. This is what you see in some of my videos where I'm uh, working with my, ex my excavator, driving my tractor. Um, in each of these feet, I've removed them from the socket. I wear a, a quick change adapter at the bottom of my socket, so it's easy for me to remove the walking component. So there you go, that is a stomper foot, basically like a rubber peg leg, and this is rated as a K1, K2 level. I can walk around, I can even walk on some, some different types of terrain, but I can't really run in a foot like this because there's no uh, energy absorption ability inside the prosthetic foot. Okay, K1, K2. Then moving on, you get into a K3 type foot. This is my regular walking foot for work. And this is an Autobach Maverick Comfort AT. The reason why they call it an AT is all terrain. It has a split keel design and that allows the prosthetic foot to flex a little bit side to side. This is made out of fiberglass. These blades are made out of fiberglass and you, you wouldn't wear this as it sits like this in your, in your shoe. You would wear what's called a spectra sock. It's like a protective sock that goes over top of these blades and then a, a, a cosmetic prosthetic foot. And then that foot you'd put into your shoe. Now you can see there's quite a bit of height difference here between the stomper foot and this comfort foot. And that is because I've removed the foot shell and obviously there's no sneaker on this. When this is inside of a running shoe or sneaker or work boot, the level for the quick adapter where it mounts to my prosthetic socket is almost identical. So there you go, There's the that's basically how much difference uh, the height of a shoe will make. So this is a K3 foot. This means you can walk around, you can walk around on different types of terrain, and you can also walk with a little bit of speed. You can get into a little bit of jogging with a K3 level foot. Now, next step up from that is a K4. And this is a Phil Hour All Pro XTS foot. And at this K4 level range, this is basically as, as dynamic uh, a foot that you can get with still wearing a regular type foot and shoe. Again, on this foot here, this is just the inside component, a Spectra sock would go over top of this, a prosthetic foot shell would go over top of that, and then you put that inside your sneaker. So this is, uh, again, AT configuration, it's got the split keel, so it allows that side to side flex. It's made out of carbon fiber, but you can see in the profile, the difference between the carbon fiber and the fiberglass there's quite a bit more flexibility in this type of construction. This also, with the XTS, the XTS stands for extra torsion and shock. And that means that when even when this foot is attached to my prosthetic socket, there's a slight ability for the foot to rotate side to side. It's almost like a, like a rubber shock absorber. And then there's a little bit of vertical shock in this XTS assembly. So this is getting into a K4 type foot. Um, basically, I can jog in this foot. I can run as fast as I'm, a, as, as I'm able to in this foot. The next step up from this would be a dedicated running blade. Uh, that's what you see like in, this, in the Paralympics. Um, basically like a big, uh, almost like a carbon fiber cheetah leg that comes down like a C shape with usually like a rubber pad. They don't even wear a shoe on that type foot. But this is 
as high level a K4 as you can get where you would still wear a regular um, running shoe. So there you have it. That is your K4. That is your K3. And then this is your K1. And uh, the other thing you may have noticed is the quick change is a bit different. This is the Autobach quick change that I use on my work leg. And this is the new Lind Extend that I'm using on my recreational leg. So there you have it. I'm gonna do a video and I'll post that of me running with this bad boy. And uh, until then, take care guys, bye.